Hey guys, it's Chris with Better Editor, and today I am back to show you how to edit with MKV files. There's a lot of people that are using the open broadcast software these days to record their screens and Zoom calls, and the problem is it by default makes an MKV file, which is a cool file type, but it's not that cool if you want to edit with it. So let's fix that. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna guess that if you're watching this, you have some MKV files that you're trying to edit and move into Premiere or DaVinci Resolve. Um, but if you're just trying to learn something, um, you can use this MKV file of me. All right, check it out in the links below. So the big secret to getting MKVs into an editable file format is we have to convert them first. Now we can't do that with Media Encoder or DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro, so we need to use another program called Handbrake. Now there's a bunch of other software out there that can convert MKV files that ask you to pay them money. You don't have to do that because Handbrake is open source and it is awesome. So open up Handbrake and then you'll need to drag in your file. We'll take this webcam video of myself, drop it in. All right, and it pops up with a list of default options. The best thing to do if you're trying to encode this in the easiest way possible, click this preset dropdown, go to general and say Super HQ 1080p 30. That's gonna be some great default settings that you can just hit starting code and you'll be rocking it. Now, if you wanna up the ante a little bit, go to video and then we're gonna change our video codec and click NVIDIA. It may say NVIDIA, it may say hardware, it may say AMD, but what it's gonna do is let you use your GPU to convert this file so it's gonna move faster. So do that and then for frame rate, set that to same as source and keep that as constant. I'm also gonna bump my constant quality up to about 15, and then jump over to my audio tab and change this to a new track, make this AAC, bit rate is gonna be 256, keep the mix down as stereo, and we're good to go. If you want, you can make that into your own preset, or you can download the preset that I saved out for you and import it by going to Presets, Import from File. When you're done, swing down to Browse, tell it where you want the project to export to, and give it a good file name. And we'll say Start Encode. And we're done. So now we can jump into Premiere, pull that file in, and we're ready to party. All right, so I'm gonna guess that if you're watching this, you have... We already heard that guy talk. So if you like what you saw, please subscribe and let me know what you think about the new format with the cameras and the cutting and all that jazz. Thanks for watching.